Classification society Arena has criticized recent losses of dry bulk cargo carriers, arguing that ships are not designed and built to carry fine ores and may take on moisture. A number of recent bulker losses have been attributed to the liquefaction of wet nickel ore cargoes. Rena has established new design standards for the modification or new building of dry bulk cargo carriers to enable them to carry fine ore safely at any moisture content. Rena believes that using its standards, ships would be safe even if the cargo liquefied and the vessels would no longer have to rely on unreliable moisture tests at the load port to determine if the cargo is safe to load or not. The mandatory application of the International Maritime Solid Bulk Cargoes, also known as IMSBC code, enhances the safety of bulk carriers through the setting of constructional and operative elements, said Paolo Salza, technical head at RENA. But they do not set out details of how to carry nickel ore or unprocessed ores which may liquefy during transportation safely. Moving on, the dry bulk freight market is not expected to register a stellar performance this year. Freight rates are expected to remain depressed through the 2012 unless the recent surge in scrapping is maintained. However, according to Freight Investor Services, ship owners and charterers need not assume that a depressed market means that earnings potentially is similarly downbeat. The robustness of underlying dry freight swamps market presents significant opportunities for options trading. The health of any option markets depend on the underlying, in this case, the dry FFA market, said Benji Villager, options broker with Freight Investor Services. While owners and charters do trade options, there remains some misunderstanding of how options work as well as the risks attached. According to Villager, overcoming that lack of understanding can mean making more profit with better risk management. That's all for now. Thank you for watching Waves.